Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. So if you have been following me for a while, then you may have seen a YouTube video talking about my 2019 Pinterest strategy. And in that video, I mention exactly what I do every single week, every single month to maintain and grow my Pinterest account. And of course, in there, I talk about Tailwind. I've talked about Tailwind a couple of times here on my YouTube channel, but I do not have one video dedicated to Tailwind and really talking about what I do to maintain my Tailwind account, the features that I use and really you know, all that Tailwind stuff. So today I just wanna to talk to you about Tailwind and I'm gonna break down how you can set up a smart schedule on Tailwind, how you can schedule your pins faster than probably you thought possible using Tailwind Tribes as well as their smart loop feature. Let's just go ahead and get into this video. Now, you may be wondering what the heck is the deal with Tailwind? If you go on Pinterest, you're going to find a lot of bloggers that swear by Tailwind, but there are other automation platforms out there, so why are people really focused on Tailwind? And here's the deal, this is my personal opinion, but I trust Tailwind because it is a Pinterest verified partner. I have looked at other automation systems that are not verified by Pinterest, and what that means is that for every single feature Tailwind rolls out, they have to get approved by Pinterest first to make sure that it abides by Pinterest best practices and that if people are using those systems, they're not going to get marked as spam. They're not going to get banned from Pinterest. So I really, truly do trust Tailwind. And seriously, guys, if you know anything about Pinterest and the Pinterest strategy that you should have in place, you should be pinning at least 20 times a day. And you do not want to be sitting on Pinterest every hour, making sure that you're sharing a pin to make sure that your account is active. So much easier if you have an automation system in place. And with Tailwind's smart schedule feature, which I'm going to talk about in a bit, seriously, Tailwind is just the way to go. I swear by it. Plus, Tailwind Tribes, which we are also going to talk about in a bit. Now, if you are interested in getting started with Tailwind, you can actually get a 100 pin free trial by clicking the link in my description bar. It is the very first thing there. So you can just click on that to get started with Tailwind. And now I'm gonna jump to my computer and walk you through a few things. So you signed up for Tailwind, now what? The very first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that you set up your pin schedule. So what times are you going to pin for each day and how many pins are going to go out each day? Now one of the things that I love about Tailwind, and I already told you guys this, is that they have a smart schedule feature. And what this means is that Tailwind will analyze your unique audience and see when they are most active to make sure that you are pinning at times that your audience is active. And I honestly think it's a really cool feature because it makes you look not like spam. It's not like you're pinning every single day at the exact same time, the same amount of pins every single day. They actually customize it so that each day has different times that your pins go out as well as a different number of pins. So if you put in there that you want to pin around 25 pins a day, you're going to have days where 25 pins go out and you're also going to have days where 30 pins go out. So it's a pretty cool system and I would highly recommend that you create your schedule that way. When you look at my schedule, the least amount of pins I have going out on one single day is 27 pins and the most I have going out is 37 pins on a Sunday. This is personal preference for me, you guys can choose anywhere from 20 to 40 pins going out a day. I would recommend that you get started around the 20 to 30 range. And then once you're ready to level up a little bit, you can go from 25 to 40. I know that I mentioned this in my 2019 Pinterest strategy video, but I think it's important to bring up again. Those 20 to 40 pins that you are sharing every single day are not just pins that are leading to your website. About 40% of the pins that I share every single day lead to my website and the other 60% are other people's pins. So this is my Pinterest schedule right here and you can tell what pins are my pins because they have that little lock icon on them, which I'm going to show you guys what that means in a little bit, but those are my pins. So I try to take up about 30 to 40% of my schedule with my pins and the rest or other people's content. So let me show you exactly how you can fill up your Pinterest schedule. Tailwind is pretty cool because there's actually several ways that you can add pins to your Pinterest schedule, but I'm gonna show you the two main ways, the two ways that I add pins to my own Pinterest schedule. And the first way is with the Tailwind extension. So right on Tailwind, you can download the Tailwind extension to your internet browser. And the second way is through Tailwind Tribes. I would recommend that you fill up your schedule with your pins first before you do anyone else's pins. Now this is personal preference for me because I like to use the interval tool. So remember when I said that those pins that have the lock icon, those are my pins. That's because I use the interval tool. So let me walk you through the steps on exactly how I schedule my own pins to my Tailwind schedule. Whenever I launch a blog post, the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm going to pin it to the most relevant board on Pinterest. From there, I'm gonna hover over the pin and click the Tailwind icon. Another pop-up will appear where you get to add all of the boards that you want that pin pinned to. For me, guys, I pin my pins to probably 50 boards some of the time. I have over 85 boards on my Pinterest profile. So I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna enter all of the boards. If you scroll down to the very bottom, you will see that there's a button that allows you to use the interval tool. So to explain what this does, 
was. Since I am pinning that one pin to maybe 30 to 50 boards, I do not want that pin going out back to back to back. I do not want two days just filled with that one pin. So that tool is pretty cool because it allows you to separate that pin out over a couple of days. So you can say, okay, I don't want this pin repinned for another 24 hours so that it is only getting pinned once a day. So I use this tool every single time I schedule one of my pins on Pinterest. Then once I have all of my pins in my schedule, I can go in and fill in the cracks with other people's content. So let me show you guys the two ways that I go about it. The first way is definitely the most efficient way. And honestly, I can schedule maybe 400 pins in 20 minutes. It is so, so fast. And that is by using the Tailwind extension. So when I'm on Pinterest, I will go to one of my boards and I will click the more ideas option. That will show you some pins that they think are relevant to the pins that you've already pinned on that board. So this is a really, really great place where you can click the Tailwind extension on your browser all of the pins are going to appear and you can start clicking on the pins that you want to add to that board. Then when you click the go schedule button, that pop-up is going to appear again. And right up at the top, you can add what board you want all of those pins pinned to. I'm telling you, this is so, so fast. It took me a matter of seconds to schedule a ton of pins to just one board. And that is going to be the easiest way to fill up your pin schedule on Tailwind so that you can spend your time on other things. The second way that you can schedule other people's pins to make sure that you fill up your pinning schedule on Tailwind is through Tailwind Tribes. So let's take a minute to talk about Tailwind Tribes because really there's a lot that you need to know and I wanna share my strategy with you guys. Tailwind Tribes are basically a better version of group boards in my opinion. Group boards are still so, so important. So do not think that I am discounting group boards, but with Tailwind Tribes, you actually generate more repins on your pins. So I swear by Tailwind Tribes and based off my analytics, I have seen pretty good results in terms of repins and reach because of my Tailwind Tribes. Now I'm not going to go into how to find Tailwind Tribes because I do have another video that you can check out right here. But what I do want to talk about is how I use Tailwind Tribes. So Tailwind Tribes are only beneficial to you if you share your content to them. It's the exact same thing with group boards. You want to make sure that you are pinning your own content to group boards. It's not going to benefit you if you are pinning other people's content to Tailwind tribes. So you want to make sure that you're pinning your content to your Tailwind tribes every time you share a new pin. So like the pin that I was scheduling earlier from my website using the interval tool, right in that section, you can actually click the add to tribes button and you can select what tribes you want that pin added to but you need to make sure that you are paying attention to the tribe rules because most tribes have a one for one ratio, which means for every pin you share to the tribe, you need to share someone else's pin. So this is the second way that I like to schedule other people's content because it is something that I have to do to make sure that I am abiding by the tribe's rules. So all you have to do to schedule pins through Tailwind Tribes is find a pin that you like, type in the board that you wanna add it to and schedule it, that's it. So simple and something that you need to do to make sure that you abide by tribe rules, but it is not a fast way to schedule pins. So if you wanna schedule pins fast, I highly recommend that you use the batching technique that I showed you using the Tailwind extension. Then we can skip over the Smart Loop feature. And I do have another video talking about the Smart Loop feature. I will link it here for you guys. So if you want to learn more information, you can click on that video. But basically the Smart Loop feature helps to keep your pins alive. If you are not regularly going back through your pins and making sure that they are at the top of your Pinterest boards, you know, pins that you've shared maybe six months ago, maybe a year ago, making sure that they're still active, making sure that they're still being found on Pinterest, the Smart Loop feature will do all of the work for you. Now, when the Smart Loop feature was first being rolled out, it was in the beta stage. I was actually invited to a private webinar with other Pinterest influencers, and it was so freaking sweet. I'm still like geeking out over the fact that I had that opportunity. But they recommended that instead of using the interval tool and instead of using the system that I showed you earlier, that you actually just add that pin to the Smart Loop that you want to add it to. But here is why I don't actually use that strategy. Yes, I use Smart Loops, and I add my most popular, most successful pin to Smart loops that could pin to maybe seven to 10 boards maximum. But with a smart loop feature, they limit you on how many pins you get to share through loops. Compared to your schedule, you can share as many as you want. I think only if you have the annual plan. I'm not sure if you pay monthly, if that's an option to you, but you can schedule as many pins as you want. Compared to through the smart loop feature, you can't. So it didn't make any sense for me because that really blocked up how many pins I was allowed to share and what boards I could share my pins to. So the thing that I like to do, I will use the system that I showed you earlier. So I will add all the boards that I want them pinned to. I will use the interval tool. And then if I think that that pin is worth it, I will add it to a smart loop to make sure that it stays active over a long period of time. 
And that is it for this video. So I hope you guys liked it and found it helpful. If you did, make sure that you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel while you are down there. If this is the first time that you're hearing about Tailwind and maybe you want to give it a shot, make sure you click the link in my description bar because you can get a 100 pin free trial. And that's really the best way to get started before you invest your money in Tailwind. If you guys have any other questions about Tailwind, please let me know in the comment section down below. I swear by this tool. I love it so, so much. So I want to help you guys out if you guys have any questions. Otherwise, I'm out of here. Bye, guys.